Star Hello Forum fans. I'm just reading this amazing book by John Caliber, The Unofficial Guide to 2000 AD's Mega City 1, City of Dread. The information inside here is absolutely fantastic. It might be a bit hard to see, because oh, middle of October, and look how sunny it is in the sunny south. But everything, it's got oh, locks, terminals, towers, skedways, Connaps, you name it, all alphabetical. But I can't seem to find one block. I've looked everywhere, especially in the P's, for Pete Wells block. We have Peter Welbeck Skedway and the Peter Weller Low Rise, but no Pete Wells block. It must be some sort of mistake by John, because I've seen pictures of this all over the place, especially on that wonderful website that Pete Wells actually owns. Anyway, not to worry. Too late to buy this because it's a very, very rare thing. I'll put that there. What we're here to talk about today is a fantastic statue, Rogue Trooper. Sculpted by Simon Robinson. Uh, the box is quite nice. You have Rogue shown from three sides, so you actually can see what you're going to get in the box. Lovely detail. On the back we have a fact file on Rogue Trooper. Just gives you what he is, what weaponry, special abilities, his motivation. Just goes on about the Quartz Zone Massacre. Uh, and his partner is obviously the GIs, the, um, the Fallen GIs. Doesn't actually mention Venus Blue Jeans. Anyway, you have classic covers it shows. Although I wouldn't call that a classic cover. That, I think that's the most classic of covers we've got. Which actually, uh, similar to the actual statue. Um, or let me just say this one thing. It's got a sound bite for Rogue Trooper. Anyone got a, want to hazard a guess at what Rogue Trooper's sound bite is? I never got it. Excuse the bottom poster. Anyone? Let's knife. Exactly. Anyway, nice bit of information here, supposedly coming from all the biochips. Rogue Trouble was created by Jerry Finley Day and Watchman artist Dave Gibbons, first appearing in 2008 Proc 228 on September the 5th, 1981. Original names considered for the strip included Trooper Tube. Oof. And my favourite one, Sergeant Omega. Uh, the Rogue Trooper computer game is now available from IDOS on PS2, Xbox and PC. And since this has been finished years ago, it's um, in fact 2006 there, it's also available on the Wii. Quite good, probably the best game out of the Judge Dredd and Rogue Trooper game. Yeah, lots of games by Rebellion of the main superb characters. So there you have that. Excellent box. Nice design on the top. Put that down there. And here's the statue. Lovely build. Nice uh, stance. Most of my dread ones are crap stances. You know what I mean? One looks like he's having a shit. And the rest he's doing... Oh, I don't know. None of them are sort of action, proper action poses. Um, Anyway, there we are. Nice muscular build, not over the top. See a few veins in his arms and his chest. Got the uh, biochips there. There. Another side there. Nice overall design. Calf muscles. Actually showing he, he's not like one of these Arnold Schwarzenegger types. He's more of, to me he's more of a Jason Statham sort of figure. Got his knife there for when he says, let's knife. Um, beautiful figure. My only one drawback, not really a main thing, is when you look at the eyes, the white actually goes onto the lids. Which I, although from a distance, it gives the better impre in, sort of impression of the eyes being pure white. But you know what those fans are like. 
well, some of us, they try to look for the impurities and defects. But, I mean, obviously there's a little bit of a mark there on his chest, but I'm quite impressed with this statue. Beautiful. It actually looks as though he's actually moving because you've got the um, the um, helmet flaps just moving moving aside. Um, it all stands. And the uh, amazing thing on the bottom, sorry, I was just looking down the hallway because of course Mr. Stillivitz on it, is it's got, look, it actually tells you, this is for you Ashley Wood, what you do when you've got a limited edition of something. You actually tell people what number it is and how many is there. Yeah. See that mongrel? Tosser. Anyway, you've got a Royal Trouba, sculpted by Simon Robinson. This is all in a felt base actually. Uh, on planet Earth, this statue was limited to 500 pieces. This is number 284 straw out of 500. So I know there's 500 out there. And I have got another 284. That's weird, that isn't it? Actually, no one what number yours is on the limited edition. But let's not go down that path. Uh, it's also got the 2080 logo, Rebellion's logo, and the website, 2080 online website. Very nice figure. They could have done other figurines like that. They did do the. Um, the Dread Death, Anderson, and the DR Quinch, or Quinn, yeah, Quinch, I never pronounced that one correctly, uh, came out in the set, but this one was completely uh, individual to that series. Very nice, very impressive. Put that there. And I shall just have a little drink out of my just red pint glass. Mmm. Very nice. Well, that on eBay for about a fiver. And a bunch of Judges and one as well. Well, look forward to the next piece of merchandise.